How's it going everybody? This is Travis Platt Reviews and today we're going to be taking a look at the new single by pop punk and emo band Magnolia Park. Sick of it all. Special thanks to the band for reaching out to me for this review. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for watching. I do reviews, reactions, topic videos, lo-fi edits and more, so if you like what you hear, please consider subscribing and turning on post notifications. Also be sure to give this video a like and comment below if there's another album or single you'd like me to review. Also I've been way more active on Facebook and Instagram lately, so if you want music recommendations or just to see what I'm up to, you can go ahead and follow me. On both it is at Travis Platt Reviews. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the review. Magnolia Park is a pop punk band from Orlando, Florida. As of recording, the band has over 6,000 monthly listeners on Spotify alone. The band has created a modern twist on the genre, having influences in trap and even emo rap, as seen in the track Outside. This is the second single of the year from the band, and they're planning to release their debut EP, Orange Tape, in the near future. I first heard of Magnolia Park at the beginning of this year when their track, Outside, was released. The band is a really nice influence of trap and pop punk, sort of like Belmont. I praised Magnolia Park in my pop punk topic video. There should be a card on the screen right now if you'd like to see that video. I mentioned that they're a band that has a very fresh sound in a more generic genre, and they're not afraid to try new things. And the band reached out to me shortly after to review their newest single, the one we are reviewing today. In short, I think this song is very, very good. It starts with a lot of reverb and a very dreamy guitar before jumping into an emo-inspired vocal layering and a thunderous drum pattern. And it transitions into a trade-off in vocals before jumping into an aggressive chorus. The chorus seems very inspired by alternative rock and emo, and it's most evident in the second verse. This song goes through a lot of transitions, showing the different genres that the band takes inspiration from. The production by Andrew Wade, who has done work with A Day to Remember, Neck Deep, Wage War, The Ghost Inside, and more, is very crisp and it works very well with the track. The band has previously experimented with post-hardcore influence, and that is something noticed on this track, with vocalist Joshua Roberts' vocal delivery, and it's strong all around. This song is very short, at a little over two and a half minutes, but it leaves you wanting more from this band. If you'd like to see me review their EP when it's released, go ahead and comment below. Magnolia Park released a roaring anthem that has me very excited for their debut EP. Thanks for watching. 